there, it's Carrie in the Writing Center, and this video is designed to provide a brief introduction to APA uh, for students who might be unfamiliar with this style. So what is APA? APA stands for American Psychological Association, and it's a standard format for, quote, scholarly writing. When most people hear APA or think of APA, they think about, oh, that's about citations and research. And that's partially accurate. APA does provide us with a format for including and giving credit for research anytime we use it in our writing, but it is actually a lot more than that. APA style is this really broad but very specific set of guidelines for clear and precise writing that is used in various professional fields. And it's literally used by millions of people all around the world in a lot of different fields, such as psychology, education, nursing, social work, just to name a few. So what exactly is it? Uh, APA provides writers with directions for clear, concise, and organized writing. And probably most importantly, it provides uniformity and consistency for both writers and readers. In terms of formatting, it gives us this very uniform and consistent guide for how we set up all the technical aspects of our paper, essentially kind of how our paper looks visually. It also gives us uniform and consistent guidelines for organizing our paper. So it ensures that the order of ideas presented are predictable and consistent for both writers and readers. It gives us a uniform and consistent standard for language, provides lots of guidance and suggestions to ensure that the language that we use in our writing is respectful, that it's bias-free, it's inclusive, and it's appropriate for the professional context in which you are writing. It does give us very specific and clear guidelines for citation of research. So it allows us to easily and briefly give credit for our sources within our own writing. And then yes, it gives us these really uniform and consistent guidelines for references, for um, giving all that bibliographic information, it gives us this very uniform structure so that readers can have all of the information they need to know exactly where our information came from and ultimately to go find it themselves if they choose to do so. And then, so why is this formatting helpful? Well, as we've said, it provides us with this really consistent and uniform style for formatting our work that helps us as writers and it helps us as readers. So, and it does that because it creates sort of this common language, if you will, for writing style and writing format. There's no guesswork with APA. As a writer, it gives you this really clear and consistent set of directions for all those technical aspects of your paper. And that predictable, consistent style allows anyone who reads your paper to really focus on the ideas in your writing because the format is very standard and consistent. When it comes to APA formatting, there are three main components. The title page has a very specific set of formatting guidelines. The headings within the paper and how we cite our um, sources, our in-text citations. And then it has a very clear, consistent formatting for the references page. But as we mentioned, it's not just about those formatting or technical aspects. It also provides really extensive guidelines and suggestions and tips for our writing style. It, all of those things can be found if you are to go actually look in a physical copy of the APA publication manual, or you can visit the APA style website, and you can find all of the same information on those websites. So that's a brief overview of what APA style is and why it is helpful. If you're looking for more detailed information on any of these other components, please check out some of our other resources in this APA 7 LibGuide.